Hello everyone. The full moon is a time of illumination, both literally and figuratively. As well, it is a culmination that can help us bring inner dynamism to a head, see the fruits of our labor, and pick up on things with more clarity. The pace of the universal energies are very potent right now, especially so ever since the powerful master Saturn and Pluto moved into new signs. With their moves, they're initiating new disciplines in our lives. As clarity is gained, we are also nudged to take steps in order to improve our lives. We need to do our course corrections or else start completely afresh. With a positive energy and added encouragement from the planets, we are more than capable of reinventing, renewing, or reconstructing the patterns of our life. Later this month on the 20th, we also move into the first eclipse season of the year. Eclipses are times of high energies and harbingers to initiating changes, forcefully bringing us face to face with existing circumstances. Willingly or unwillingly, we have to clean our clutter, especially if we are seeking happiness and serenity in life. Eclipses needn't be feared. As a matter of fact, all solar lunar energies help you release the past and step into the future in order to fulfill your destiny for which you took birth. This month, you will witness a change in your life in some way or the other. The lineup of the planets implore you to be bold and fearless, reconstruct and renew yourself. Before the eclipses, the full moon of 6th April is preparing us to start afresh or to do our course corrections. Now, if you see the astrological year started from the month of 20th March into April with the powerful luminary full moon taking place on the 5th, 6th in the sign of balance, that is Libra, which actually directs your daily work, health and routines combined with self-care. Now, the full moon implores you to balance your personal and professional life if you are to achieve your peace. This occurrence in Libra is wanting you to leave the habits that are draining your energies and be boldly consistent while adopting habits that can uplift you to create the life you so visualize. Your task is to design symmetry and balance in your life. Libra is a positive cardinal outgoing sign, sociable and can be active in networking, Diplomacy, style, and grace are prerequisites of this period. So while the sun is in fiery Aries, the moon is in airy Libra, the sign that wants harmony. Aries is all me, 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 and Libra is all you, you, you. How better can I explain the need of the hour? is to blend the me and you by clearing all air of negativity and bringing in positive vibes. Now for this, you need to work on your self-confidence. A confident, fearless mind does wonders not only for oneself, but also for the world at large. During this full moon, there may be ego clashes between what you want versus what someone else wants. So if the times have been tough in the past, then now is the time to start your astrological year by balancing what needs to be decluttered, both in your personal and professional life. Since Libra is the sign that likes things to be nice, so the responsibility is yours to make moves towards creating your own harmony. One thing that distinguishes this Libra full moon in April 2023 is the fact that there are two rather uh, big astrological alignments taking place at around the same time. One is what's called a T-square and the other a grand trine. Put them together and there is a definite feeling of pressure building. This buildup of pressure could be on you yourself or perhaps you're giving pressure onto someone. Remember, giving or taking pressure or stress is one and the same thing. 
the one who gives or takes is also stressed out what you give out negatively or positively is also what you absorb yourself fortunately there is also a release available during the full moon you just need to remain focused on what and how to let go of negative energies for your own personal growth you have to face the challenge determinedly as there are very fixed energies around so you're going to have to be extremely passionate about releasing the negativity be focused on your inner self and determined to surround yourself with upbeat people to reach your equanimity it's important to recognize toxic environment and people and instead of pushing them away which will be tough to extricate yourself and build your inner world so instead of pushing them away which is going to be tough extricate yourself and build your own inner world so to start with release your resistance to change and learn to go with the flow do away with resistance by tapping the center of your forehead or the crown of your head this technique is known as eft emotional freedom techniques it's a powerful way to rela- uh, release unresolved issues it releases your stress and restores balance to your life so with your fingers when you tap on a specific meridian points of the body it sends a calming signal to the brain so by restoring this energy balance you can easily discharge and get liberated from stress and anxiety so when you release negative emotions strong resistance to change melts away any full moon is a great time to release resistance but the libra full moon on the 6th is one of the greatest and most potent of them all for 2023 So if you've been resisting but wanting change of circumstances then now is the time to connect with yourself and exercise the change or else connect with me and I can help you nav- navigate your attitude which will eventually determine your altitude